looking good looking A new movie featuring two strong female leads? Oh, yes, I will do a hashtag ad. Don't mind if I do. Shout outs to the spy who dubbed me for sponsoring this video, but honestly, I probably would have bragged about it anyway. Let me break, break, break it down for you. Mila Kunis and Kate McKinnon are two BFFs that travel Europe and it's a hot mess. And I was watching this movie like, oh my God, they made a documentary about me. So me. Except for the part about being Mila Kunis because she's in shape. Don't get me wrong, traveling abroad is dope. I mean, even saying the word abroad makes you sound cooler. Do you guys like my scarf? Meh. Whatever. Yes, I... Oh. I got her abroad. Oh my god, I love it. How whoa. Culture queen. Having said that, traveling is hectic, bro. Okay, the struggle is real in the following ways. Segway. Number one, overpacking. Me packing for any trip looks very similar to me trying to button jeans, okay? Because I have confidence that no matter how much I try to squeeze in there with a little force, It'll close. Okay, done. Yeah, no, this is for sure gonna fit. Just wait, just wait. This is totally gonna close. This is what suitcases are designed to do. Guys, push your weight down. Stop pushing up. Almost, almost, almost. Ah. Ah. What did I tell you? Wait, did you pack your makeup? All right, let's open it back up. <clears throat> Straight up, I could be going on a three day trip and I'm gonna pack 19 outfits. What, why? Not to mention I pack like three or four bras. Like, girl, you wear the same bra every day at home. That's not gonna change in Europe. You're nasty in PST, you're gonna be nasty in GMT. Don't play yourself, you trash muffin. Number two, anxious customs. I could literally be on my way across the globe to do charity work, okay, to help people, to save the environment. But when I approach customs, I automatically feel like the biggest criminal. Like, I know I'm telling the truth, but in what tone do I tell the truth and how much of the truth? And honestly, what if I am doing something illegal? Because I did jaywalk on the way into the airport. I'm sorry, I get flustered. <gasps> okay, calm down. You aren't doing anything wrong. Just tell the truth. You're visiting your parents. Yep, visiting your parents. Visiting your parents. What's the purpose of your visit? I have drugs. Damn you. Here's the gag. I don't even have drugs, okay? I just get nervous and my brain farts. <laughs> Number three, passport paranoia. I'm the type of anxious, stressed out person that needs to check if I have my passport a minimum, minimum of 95 times before I board any given flight. And not only do I check if I have my passport, I have to ensure compulsively that it is in fact my passport. Like, Lily, whose else's passport is gonna be in your pocket? Okay. Wait, do my passport? So mine, check. No, wait, let me make sure I have the right passport. Oh, good, we're good. Wait, do I have my passport? Wait, is this even mine? It is. It is, okay, Whoa! Passport, please. Ah, yes, sir. One second, it is right. How? My worst fear, honestly, it's my worst fear. Between that and triple confirming that my phone is on silent during a movie, my life is just wasting away. But that's, no, no, I'm stopping this right now. No more wasting my time on this. No more double checking. Wait, am I recording? Number four, random selection. Oh, no, no. So obviously, because I'm a brown person, I get randomly selected very often. It's funny how I don't get randomly selected for a role in a Hollywood movie. I guess I am. So the agent opens my suitcase and starts going through all my stuff and I'm just watching along, pissing my pants because I'm just like, oh my God, what the F? What if I accidentally packed a case of water? And let me tell you, it can get awkward sometimes. <sighs> That's just my underwear. And that's my makeup, but I can throw it away. Just let me know. Whatever. Okay, yeah, those are for my job. Yeah, I do a lot of role play for my audience. They, they like it. Okay. <clears throat> role play. Yeah, it, it's nothing freaky. It's more like funny, you know what I mean? It's like if I just need to be a white girl for something, you know? Uh-huh, okay, and uh, what's, what's this? That is my curling iron. 
it's hot pink. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It sports cancer. Every agent thinks I'm freaky because I travel with my costumes all the time. I'm like, boy, little do you know that I spend my Friday nights sitting on my sofa watching reality TV. Okay, and the only thing freaky is how quickly I can grow another chin. It's a shame. Number five. Later Rams. Traveling is like a double-edged sword, right? Because on the one hand, you're getting to take all these bomb pictures, just like, yo, look at me all up in all this culture. <laughs> but on the second hand, you're probably in a different time zone, so all your friends are probably sleeping. Wait, wait, what time is it in LA? Will anyone even see this? Nine hours ahead means noon here. My optimal time is two, which makes it what time here? Aha! 20 minutes from now. Set a timer. Instagram? No, no, no. Okay, more like when am I gonna get the most likes, Graham? Okay, that time, Graham. Later, Graham. Strategic, Graham. Okay, Graham crackers. Wait, what? Number six language barriers. Every single person in the world at some point has fronted about knowing a language better than they actually know. Every single person, including you. Shut up, shut up. La la la. Shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up, shut up. Every single person. Okay, you just ask them, like, yo, do you know Spanish? And like, yeah, yeah, I can manage. I'm pretty decent. And then you're like, hola, caliente. You live in the vida loca. And I'm like, shut up. You don't know Spanish. Okay, you remember four words from grade nine Spanish. That's me with French, okay, because I'm like, oh no, I took French until grade 12, I'm fluent. So, bonjour. Bonjour, comment allez-vous? Tout très belle. Je voudrais vous prononcer, s'il vous plaît. Uh, croissant. And when you're traveling somewhere where you have a language barrier, it is God sent when someone speaks English. You're like, oh my God, finally, someone I can understand. Watch up, mate. Blimey, I was walking around Piccadilly looking for my old mate when a bloke says it's a lush missus looking for some help in it. So I thought I'll come and chat you up. I'm not trying to take the mick, love, okay? I'm not dodgy, I promise. Okay, I just fancy you as all. You knack it, should we hop on the tube? Uh, fish and chips. Or not. I'll be in London riding the tube and the girls are like, mind the gap. And I'm like, what did you say about my teeth? Ah, tourists. Idiots. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure you check out The Spy Who Dumped Me. It is directed by a female, Susanna Fogel. I'm here for all of this. The trailer is right over there. All the information is in the description. It is out this weekend. Otherwise, make sure you subscribe because I make new videos every Monday and Thursday. One love, Superwoman. That is a wrap and zoop.